What's up guys, this is your Nicholas or Foreign Dog here again and today I'll be showing you guys my best ever gameplay in Infinite Warfare. It's gonna be a 50 55 in 1 Juggernaut Medal gameplay using just the DCM8 shotgun. And to be straight honest, I'm using it on Team Deathmatch against a few noobs, but on retaliation. Okay? And a lot of people always tell me retaliation, yeah, it's not very good for shotguns and stuff, but I prove everybody wrong here, trust me. When you play this map in a close quarters combat, going through the house and staying away from long lines of sight, you can absolutely wreck people here. It's a joke. I absolutely go to town on these guys. It's really hilarious. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm not really a shotgun. I don't know if you guys are frequent viewers or not, but I don't really shotgun much, to be honest. Not really. What I do. The reason I'm using shotgun here is only because I want to go for the black sky camo at the moment. And um, I finished the shotguns now. I finished assault rifles. I finished all the SMGs. I'm nearly finished with the LMGs now, and then I'm gonna move on to the snipers, and then start thinking about the secondaries and stuff. Um, but I don't think I get um, the diamond camo in this gameplay itself. But um, it was this was my last sh shotgun to finish, and I think I finished it quite well. Uh, to be honest, with a 55 in 1, which is, which is decent. Um, but yeah, obviously, shotguns is not really something I'm very fond of. Obviously, it's quite needy, if, you, if, if I'm honest. And also, you have to know this gameplay was before the DCM8 buff. It's okay. So, this gameplay is about two weeks old now. Or, that's like 10 days. Okay, and since then, which, uh, there was the update, I think, three days ago now. And literally the DCM8 got buffed and I didn't even notice because I finished it before which was quite sad um, it would have helped me but I actually don't think the DCM8 DCM8 needed the buff I'm looking at it nice triple kill triple kill from the side um, I actually don't think it needed the buff you know it, I think it's very strong it's a full automatic you can't really make these make these guns that strong with a full automatic shotgun you know it's kind of yeah, you're helping the noobs out if you do that a lot. But um, yeah, I think the um, the game is going the right way with always trying to change a few guns and stuff. They actually in the last update even um, even fixed the um, the hailstorm and made they made the burst time like the time between the bursts longer, but they made the burst stronger, which is which is makes sense. I think the I think the hailstorm was a bit too quick firing for being a three three round burst pistol. Um, and if you, they change a few other things here and there, of course. Um, but yeah, I think I'm doing. I think I'm gonna finish the LMGs probably. This is Monday today. I'm probably gonna finish it today, and then move on to to the snipers. I finished the KB, uh, KBS longbow already. Obviously, I'm a sniper, as you probably know. So I finished that. Um, I'm gonna be moving on to the EBR because honestly, I think that's the easiest one to start with. I think the Widowmaker is a piece of shit. Um, and the DM, I think it's DMR1, I think it's called. Yeah, I don't even want to get started with that one, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'll get those things going. Yeah, also, I'm gonna be, we're going to be back playing MLG this week a lot more, I hope. Um, been a bit of, been a bit of few problems here with works and stuff, so our four players couldn't really meet. That's the problem. See, that's the problem when you have just four players in the team. You, as soon as one person isn't there, you don't play MLG. It kind of makes it get dangerous and it kind of makes it like a bit inconsistent. Um, and also, we, I, I, I'm deciding now I'm not going to take part in any more 3v3s because 3v3s, when we're, we're not, when we play, we're not necessarily gunfight winners. Obviously, we win gunfights, but I mean, in 3v3, it's a lot more about gunfights. In 4v4, it's so much more tactical. We win most of our games because with our placement of players and where we play together tactically, it is very, very good. Therefore, we win lots of people that, are, that probably have better connection than us. Might even have better aim than us, but we beat them because we're tactically more aware and understand where to play and counter their positions. Quite simply, um, I hope I'm going to be uploading a, a, a 2v2 as well throughout the week. Um, I think my Wi Fi is doing much better now. I think we had an engineer come again, and it looks like it's going to be a bit more consistent now. Um, hopefully, of course, that stays that way. If not, I'm going to have to call another engineer. So, man, these guys in the UK are, are fucking me around, to be honest with you. With his internet, um, but hey, I'm gonna stop here right here. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the last few minutes of the of the of the gameplay. Um, obviously, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Um, also, I've been working on the intro and stuff. You know, I'm gonna be having a, I'm having I have a new intro right now for my YouTube videos. I'm working on thumbnails, trying to make it more creative, a bit more appealing. 
Um, outro is also on the cards. I'm not just sure yet when that will happen, but I'm definitely trying to make things a bit more appealing for you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like. I really appreciate that. Um, also, of course, I'm regularly regularly uploading videos, so subscribe will help me out a lot, of course, as well. Um, so yeah, I wish you guys a good week. See you guys soon. Your phone up. Peace out. Mission accomplished. Well done.